Hello, this is Melena Ray Johnson with For Nerdy Girls with Melena Ray Johnson. And that's me. And I'm doing this video. And uh, why are you doing this? That's the name of the video. 10 celebrities who inspired Melena short stories on fornerdygirls.com. So first, who am I? I'm Melena Ray Johnson. And I went to Loyola Marymount University for film school. And I went to University of Southern California for business school, where I studied marketing, entertainment, and entrepreneurship and got my MBA. And what, what am I doing now? I have written four books, which are all on Amazon. Just type in Milena and all of them should pop up. There's also a link in this video if you're watching it on Facebook. What else? Oh, I also write short stories on fornerdygirls.com, which is also linked if you're watching on Facebook or somewhere else. You could just type in for nerdy girls. That's F O R nerdygirls.com. So today I want to share with you all what I'm doing and what I've been doing for the past about a month. So, as many of you know who have been following the website, I have been writing short stories that come out once. Uh, a long one uh, for the for the rest of 2018. Oh yes, it's September 5th, 2018. Uh, for the rest of 2018, there's a long story, of a, not a long story, it's a short story that is going to come out each month on the first Wednesday of every month. So they're already scheduled. And then in the middle of the month, there is a Drabble that is going to come out. Uh, and what's a Drabble? That's one of the things that we're going to talk about. A Drabble is a 100-word short story. It's usually associated with fan fiction. But what I'm doing is using all the characters that I have in my head already and making these lovely stories. So first... How I write one, we're going to get to the 10 celebrities in a moment, but I want to get through each of these three things that I wrote down first. So first, how do I write one story every day? So I, and writing has helped keep my sanity. It can be crazy going through a move anywhere, but switching countries is a lot. So I have been, uh, over the past month now, yes, about, it's almost two months now, writing a, a short story or uh, writing part of a short story every day. But lately I've been doing a, on average one 100 word story every day. They're, they're all romantic comedy related. So they're about people who are in relationships. Um, some of the relationships are not romantic, but they still are funny. <laughs> So I encourage you to read them. What I learned is that people like reading my stories for some, for some reason and not so much watching the videos that I make, even though I'm making this video, to inform you of what is happening. But I have been looking at my website and seeing that people click on the stories and some someone left a comment. Yay. I encourage you to do so as well. The website, again, is for nerdygirls.com. And there are a number of stories up there right now that you can enjoy. I'm assuming it's because they are entertaining and people like to be entertained more than they like to be taught a lesson about life and going out and doing stuff. You can just sit at home and read a story pretty quickly they they are really quick especially the travels which are a hundred words uh and they're they entertain you and make you say oh sometimes or, or sometimes you go mm, oh i see what you did okay so how do i do it every day it's really simple i'm just i think of the character and i think of who they're going to talk to and that's what happens in the story and it's done it's a hundred words if you want to try it please do and share them with me. Email me at fernerdygirls at gmail.com. Next, what's a travel? I explained what a travel is. It's a hundred word story. It's really short. And the hard part is stopping the travel because you get to 90 words and you're like, oh, I got to finish. Oh, I got a, I got a thumbs up from Sasha. Hello. So the hard part is stopping the travel. And um, once you start it, you're like, oh my gosh, I got to write more. So I encourage you again to write more and share them. Share your travel writing experience with me at fernerdygirls at gmail.com. Com. Third, Milena's Patreon. I want to talk about this at the top and then I'll repeat it at the, the end. I am working on a Patreon at patreon.com slash for nerdy girls. It's not up yet, so I haven't linked it, but I'm working on it so that people can get more drabbles from me and support the, like, uh, we're, there are words that we're not supposed to say 
like support the art that I do. But I guess it, in recently you may have been following the Jeffrey Owens story about how Fox News trying to shave him for working at Trader Joe's, which is a store that I like. Can't, I can't access at Trader Joe's right now, but it is a store that I like and they do treat their employees well. And, and I said today, let your burden be your blessing because now a lot of blessings are coming to him. People recognizing that he's doing hard work and that he's still out here acting. So um, similar to that, I want to let people know that you can get more travels from me on Patreon because I'm creating some exclusive contract content for patrons. There's going to be a, uh, so far three levels. There's going to be alpha, which is $5 a month, uh, beta nerdy girls, which is $50 a month and, uh, gamma nerdy girls, which is $500 a month. Each of those tiers has a special exclusive offering for them. So once I figure it out and it's up at Patreon patreon.com slash for nerdy girls, go check it out. All right. So the 10 celebrities who inspired my short stories. Finally, I'm getting to this in the middle of the video. Okay. 10 celebrities. There are so many, but I'm going to focus on the ones that who, who are inspiring me right now. One, John Cho, AKA Chow from off center. <laughs> for me is his most significant role for other people it could be other things you you know what John Cho has done so he's inspired me especially in um the Hennessy Park uh PTA rumble stories that I'm writing uh he's you all if you don't know who he is look him up he's great he's an actor who is in searching which is out this summer since it's september 5th 2018 so go check that out i haven't yet but i will okay number two jay ellis aka lawrence from insecure now he's not in this at uh, this season of insecure but he has been in the first two seasons and i also know him as blue from the game that was when I was first introduced to him. But he did such a good job as Lawrence, too, even though Lawrence was not a great character. Lawrence needed some help. Lawrence needed some assistance in the emotional uh, space. But Jay Ellis is actually a pretty cool actor. He seemed pretty nice. I got to see him on a panel at least once. So uh, he is someone who has inspired me in the homestead um, stories, including the Wellington stories that I, that you will eventually start to see if you become a Patreon, uh, and the, uh, Noah, Sasha, Antonio, and Morrow stories that you have already seen up, uh, on fornerdygirls.com. I don't know if I've included him yet, uh, the characters that he has inspired, but you will see some of his influence, uh, based on who I think Jake Ellis is, because I don't know him personally, but, okay, number three is Louis Tan, of course, I keep talking about him, and hopefully there haven't been any, any accusations so far, because I've talked about him a lot over the past two years, uh, he is best known as Get Gaius in Into the Badlands, like, no, obviously, he's also in Deadpool 2 as Shatterstar, but I like him in, as Gaius in Into the Badlands, Gaius, Gaius cha, cha. Clearly, I don't watch the show as much as I should, and now I'm unable to watch the show because we don't have a cable because now I'm one of those cut cord, cord cutting people because I'm so busy. But let's keep going. For Adam Rodriguez from T Tito from Magic Mike XXL, which obviously he's in Criminal Minds too, but he is definitely some inspiration from some of, some of the Hennessy Park stories that you will see, especially in the Sunshine stories. There's a lot of his influence there. Five, Harry Shum Jr., who had his role as Charlie Wu in Crazy Rich Asians. Props to his agent because Harry Shum Jr. was in, I think, two, he was in like less than 30 seconds of the movie, had no lines, was fourth build for that movie. That is so awesome. Well, most of the scenes were cut out. As I have described in my Crazy Rich Asians review, which you can read on fernerdygirls.com. All right, so I was hoping to keep this video to 10 minutes. Obviously, I have not, and I have five more people to go, so let's keep going. 
Six is Rami Malek, who is best known as Elliot and Mr. Robot. Now, I don't have a clever thing. for. I guess he's going to be known for his uh, performance in the Queen movie, but he is definitely inspirational for the Wellington stories, which are coming out for you Patreon subscribers that are watching this in the future. You will see some aspects of him in those stories as well. And let's get to number seven, Kendrick Sampson, who is someone I just discovered. I'm sure he knows who he is. <laughs> he, he didn't just, he was not born yesterday. But he plays Nathan on Insecure, and he he was also on How to Get Away, How to Get Away with Murder, and he is inspirational in the Wellington stories as well. For you future Patreon subscribers, you can see his influence uh, and his inspiration on me in those stories. And Wellington, the Wellington stories that I'm talking about, they are a they are a series of travels that are also inspired, they're based on the first act of Hamlet. So Wellington is a, um, is a individual who is troubled because her mother was recently, well, died a year ago, and her father is marrying her mother's sister, and she is uh, upset about that and goes home to figure out the whole situation. So you're gonna read more about those Wellington stories in the Patreon, if you sign up um, at the $5 level, $50 level, and $500 level, you get uh, all the, uh, the Patreon drabbles that are for everyone on Patreon. At the $50 level, to, to explain the there's going to be special things at each level, and then there's probably going to be more levels, but I'm still figuring it out. Again, uh, it will be up, and then you can see more about it at patreon.com slash Girls. All right. Eight is Makad Brooks, who I know as Jimmy Olsen and Supergirl, who is also in one episode of the show on USA that, that I forgot what it's called. Maria Bamford was in it, and he played this attorney. He was a guest star. He played an attorney. Or, and of, of course, I'm forgetting everybody now, but it was really funny, and I haven't watched any episodes of Supergirl, but I do know McCod Brooks from his appearances on podcasts, and he is inspirational for the Hennessy Park stories, which you're going to see some of on For Nerdy Girls, um, for the PTA Rumble stories, which involve Sunshine, Pablo, Anya, Mark Louis, and Cappy, and Priya, and some other people as well. And then nine is Laith Ashley, who was, was so, he, he is such a spark that he had, I think, also, again, less than 30 seconds in an episode of Pose. I looked him up, found out who he was. He is a, a model, an actor who happens to be transgender. And I was like, he is super cool. I want to use some of that inspiration in some of my stories. So you're going to see that in the Sunshine stories as well, which are the Hennessy Park stories, which you can already see on FernerDGirls.com. And 10, Tim Chu, who was Ed Chen in Silicon Valley. And the, this is one of the coolest parts about, about writing these stories is, how did I discover Tim Chu? Well, he knows who he is already, but... I was in one of my Facebook groups called the Flock Adjacent Moon Cult, which is a spinoff group from a bigger group from for the podcast, The Flop House, which uh, talks about bad movies. And I sat in this specific group, the Flop Adjacent Moon Cult. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for inspiration, uh, particularly because I was writing the well ending stories, which you can see on my patreon.com slash for nerdy girls when I actually make that a page. I was looking for inspiration for that because there are various love interests that I wanted to feel like, oh, this person is like this person. And I said, who are, who are some uh, colorful actors that you all enjoy? And it was a whole thread that I, I typed it up and then 30 minutes later, there are all these people posting and they're all this excitement about, I like this person, I like this person. There's a lot of Idris Elba posted. There's some The Rock. There was Donald Glover. Um, so many other people and, and people that I, I had never heard of, people who weren't actors, people who were models, athletes. 
um, people just generally gentlemen who were not white and very attractive and have done something to spark something in some sort of thirst in these women who are like all these all these guys are the best blah, blah, blah. one of those people was Tim Chu I looked him up he was <laughs> the roles he's had are not 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 the not the ones that I'm like oh yeah totally attracted to him. but but I started reading his Twitter and his Instagram I was like ah I gotta figure out how to use him for inspiration. So I did. So those are the 10 people. Again, let me list them one more time. It is, in no particular order, of course, John Cho's at the top. He's number one. Uh, Jay Ellis, Louis Tan, Adam Rodriguez, Harry Shum Jr., Romain Malik, Kendrick Sampson, McCod Brooks, Leith Ashley, and Tim Cho. And this is not an exhaustive list. There are many other people. And there's other there's other female characters who are inspired by actual uh, women celebrities as well, which I should probably do a list of that. But I wanted to tell you who's inspiring me today and what I'm doing and what I'm up to because I love making content and I want to create more of it for you to enjoy because people seem to be at least clicking on the stories even if they're not leaving comments. So please, again, leave a comment here and go to fernerdygirls.com to read the stories and leave comments there. If you have any questions, please email me at fernerdygirls at gmail.com and one more time, the Patreon is coming at patreon.com slash for nerdy girls. And I am excited to see you in all of those places. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.